वेलकम टू दिस चैनल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर टी एन देवन डॉक्टर ऑफ मॉडर्न मेडिकल साइंस मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर एंड लाइफ कोच इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फ्लू ऑक्सीटिन वी नो फ्लू ऑक्सीटिन इज एन एसेसरी बट इट हैज सम अदर फंक्शन ऑल्सो लाइक एन आर आई नॉर एफ नेफ्रिन रिएप्टिक इनिविटर और इट हैज फाइव एच टी टू एंटागोनिज्म दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन फॉर फ्लू ऑक्सीटिन लाइक इफ इट इज फ्लू ऑक्सीटिन सो इट विल एक्ट ऑन it will act on serotonin norepinephrine as well as the 5ht2 c receptor and it will have diverse of actions and utilizations now 5ht2 receptor antagonism when there is antagonism of this receptor there will be antidepressant action and also it will help in eating disorder like bulimia nervosa remember fluoxetine is one of the important accessory which is only approved accessory for bulimia nervosa and remember the dose for bulimia nervosa is very much higher you have to give higher dose of fluoxetine in case of eating disorder what are the other drugs can act on the same receptor that is mirtazapine egomelatine and trazodone and remember there are few antipsychotics we use in case of a, as a antidepressant or augmentation of the antidepressant drug these two are quetiapine and olanzapine they are antipsychotic but we are using along with antidepressant to improve or to augment the action of antidepressants and it usually used for treatment of unipolar depression or treatment resistant bipolar depression now 5h22c 5ht2c antagonism actually it is an activating in nature that means even in the first dose of the fluoxetine some people will feel energetic why because the nature of this receptor antagonism is activating in nature so if we use fluoxetine because of this antagonism property in cases of fatigue or having negative positive uh, negative symptoms uh, sorry only has the lack of positive symptoms that is that is in case of uh, reduced positive effect hypersomnia psychomotor retardation apathy and fatigue even at the first dose of the fluoxetine there will be improvement of the symptoms and and remember it also helps in improve the concentration as well as the attention even at the first dose of the fluoxetine but if you see this action because the fluoxetine action because of this 5h22c receptor which is activating in nature it will it will reduce the symptoms it will it will help in psychomotor retardation apathy and fatigue but those patient already have agitation already have anxiety if you give them fluoxetine because of this antagonistic action of the fluoxetine there may be unwanted activation and there on there may be unwanted side effects as well as even panic attacks can be there so you have to use fluoxetine judiciously because some people will be uh, having reduced positive effect having apathy having more psychomotor retardation you give them there will be very big, very good result of the fluoxetine but in case of patient having anxiety or other uh, agitations and you uh, give uh, fluoxetine in that cases uh, side effects may be more prominent and patient may discontinue the medication sometimes we use combination of the fluoxetine with the olanzapine we know olanzapine is antipsychotic but it has in uh, 5ht2c antagonism property now both the 5ht2 antagonism property of the olanzapine as well as the fluoxetine will help increase norepinephrine and dopamine so definitely it will have more anti depressive effect now fluoxetine 5ht2c antagonism we already talked about this uh, patient we have to use judiciously fluoxetine in in that cases now fluoxetine is a weak norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor and it is only seen in higher dose of fluoxetine t half life is 2 to 3 days now what is the beauty of this t half life because it is a long t half life so we need not to taper the dose and there will be no withdrawal symptoms even after stopping the fluoxetine because of the long t half property of the fluoxetine and remember 
the fluoxetine when we take the tablet uh, capsule as a fluoxetine and there will be active metabolization of this fluoxetine and there will be active metabolite formation what we known as not fluoxetine and the t half life of not fluoxetine is almost 2 weeks 14 days that means there is no chance of withdrawal symptoms even after sudden stopping of this fluoxetine that is the beauty of the one of these SSRI because other SSRI might have a short duration of action and there may be withdrawal symptoms usually there may be withdrawal symptoms but in case of fluoxetine we have that benefit and remember because of this long T half life we need to use MAO inhibitor very judiciously and it should be given after 5 to 6 weeks or 5 to 7 weeks of stopping of the fluoxetine otherwise there will be reactions. Now fluoxetine as a come as a capsule we can use the daily dose we can use starting from 20 milligram OD to 20 milligram BD then we can go for weekly dose and we may go maximum up to 60 to 80 milligram per day. Now that is the oral medication. Is there any other way of giving this medication? There is sublingual fluoxetine where we use the liquid preparation for this fluoxetine and we can give maximum up to 60 milligram per day fluoxetine sublingually in a form of even in the form of liquid fluoxetine. Where the bioavailability if you compare with this oral medication it will be slightly lower than the oral route. Now fluoxetine whenever we take the fluoxetine it converted into active metabolites nor fluoxetine by the help of this CYP2 D6 enzyme and remember the inhibit this CYP2 D6 and CYP2 C9 and CYP CF4 they are weak uh, inhibitor and these are the moderate inhibitor of these enzymes. So we have to use judiciously those medications are going through these enzyme systems. Now what are the effect or the side effect we can say on the fluoxetine? If you see the heart rate there is a mean heart rate is slightly reduced minimal effect on the blood pressure. So there is no chance of postural hypertension you can use safely uh, in case of this uh, medication for averting postural hypertension there is no QTC prolongation there is no arrhythmia and we need to have uh, need to uh, have cautions when we are using in acute MI cases. Now, fluoxetine has a favorable effect on the diabetic profile diabetic profile it reduces the HbA1c level remember it increase it increases the insulin sensitivity, reduces the insulin resistance and one of the beauty of this insulin sensitivity it is not weight dependent that is if there is weight loss then will be increased sensitivity of the insulin sensitivity no it is not like that even with uh, uh, normal weight also there may be increased insulin sensitivity it is independent of the weight loss. Some evidence of long term side effect you know any SSRI long term side effect is the sexual side effect sexual side effect is the very prominent side effect otherwise some study shows it increase the diabetic profile or diabetic risk is increased but there are some studies which does not give evidence of this effect. Now is there will be any sedation after fluoxetine answer is no so usually the fluoxetine given in the morning dose because it does not cause sedation rather it will cause activation because of the 5 HT2C receptor antagonism so it should be given in the morning dose or if you want to give this fluoxetine at the night time you should preferably use along with other benzodiazepines. Postural hypertension no because it does not have any effect on the blood pressure cardiac conductance no problem no arrhythmia no anticholinergic side effect dry mouth and all it will not be there nausea and vomiting that is the GI upset is one of the very important important side effect of the fluoxetine or rather any SSRI so it is better to give PPI along with this medication and the most common and long term side effect of this SSRI is sexual dysfunction that is delayed ejaculation even this side effect can be used in case of premature ejaculation. So this is all about the fluoxetine. Fluoxetine is one of the very commonly used SSRI. So this is in short about the fluoxetine in next video I will talk about some other SSRI which is necessary which is important clinically. Thank you. Thank you so much.